Hey guys, uh, this is Mike here. So in today's video, we are going to go through the ways to actually update the uh, OnePlus 3T to Android 9 Beta. So there is an Android 9 Beta package available now for you to actually update the uh, stock, <coughs> what do you call that, stock ROM to Android 9 Beta as you can see now. Uh, the software now is running on Android 8 on the November 1 security patch. Yeah, I can take a look at it. So ultimately, what you will need to do is go to, uh, you need to download the OTA package, which I'll leave a link down below. And what you need to do next is to go to system update, uh, copy the file into here, into your phone internal storage. Then ultimately what you're going to do next is to do a local upgrade. Uh, and you can see this, uh, I've already placed the file into the, uh, what do you call that? Uh, the phones in the storage, so now you can actually do a upgrade on this. So what you need to do now is to set, there is actually another way to do it via ADB site load, which I will show in another video where you want to revert back, how to revert back your um, OnePlus 3T to the stock setup. Once you have like flashed image OS, um, not good loader and stuff like that, how to revert everything that you stop. So if you want to watch the video, just uh, it will be available in the description as well as the link up top during uh, on the screen itself. So what you need to do next is just to tap on this thing itself and do an upgrade now. So what they'll do now is they'll do a system upgrade. And um, one of the prerequisites of this is it needs to be running uh, with lock boot loader as well as uh, running the latest uh, Android Oreo update for this update to work. So uh, yeah, so ultimately, this is are the two things that you need to make sure that this phone is actually at the condition. One of them is a lock boot loader. Second one is your on the latest Android Oreo update, right? So once it's done, you'll just prepare for update and make sure you have sufficient battery and charge, fully charged 100% now. So you will need to have at least, uh, I don't know, 50% and above. So, yeah, once you have tap on it, you just need to wait for the process to complete. Then just wait it out. Okay, looks like it's already done updating. It's now finishing the updates. But I think basically you can still open it up and check out the whatever stuff that we have here. Uh, yep. Android P, if you look at it now, it's Android P. So it's actually on Android P update at this point of time. And um, ultimately, nothing much difference in terms of uh, what they have. We are looking at the settings. They have some setting changes in terms of fonts and stuff, and as well as the layout of certain certain things. The button and gesture, quick gesture, concentrate finger screenshot, uh, all the stuff I still seen. Uh, as this phone has the cap capacity buttons, they wouldn't have the uh, uh, oxygen OS gesture that that uh, the newer phones have, like one plus. Uh, 5T and all, so ultimately there might be ways to do it, but um, yeah, normally that is the case. Um, you do a system update now, you can try to check whether there is updates for that. So once you have checked, there's nothing. So, yep, so let's just take a look at the bulk phone. As you can see now, we are at uh, Oxygen OS 9. Android version 9 right this is quite a good looking kind of a bug phone pictures that we have here okay so ultimately that that's all I have for today uh, for this this video this video basically just is a, like a pretty short guide on how you want to update your stock oxygen OS which is a official OTA on Android Oreo and upgrade to Android Pi beta uh, firmware uh, oxygen OS 9 itself so of course, ultimately, uh, they might actually launch the actual Oxygen OS pretty soon. Uh, I mean like the official OTA. But for now, uh, this is just 
which is a good one. If you want to try out Android 9 on your OnePlus 3T. And of course, there will be a video about Lineage OS SL, which is already running on Android Pi, which uh, you guys can check it out. I'll have a video with that as well on how you actually flash Lineage OS to this uh, OnePlus 3T phone itself. This is one of my first OnePlus phone, and I think it still looks pretty great. Uh, and it's still pretty fast. And if you want to plan to have one of them now, I think you can get it at a pretty good price. So I'll leave a link down below. Uh, do support me if you intend to get one of these. So yeah, that's all for today's video. So thank you for watching and uh, I hope to see you again soon. Bye.